Hey guys, how's it going? Silva Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going to be showing off the really cool 3D printed disk detainer lock created and designed by Lethal Logic. I'm going to be showing a lot of clips from her channel. I do have permission to share these with you, and I'm so excited to give a really great signal boost to this really cool project. There was a lot of hard work put into this, and I'm so happy to be able to share it with everybody. So the first thing I want to do is share with you the key design. What she was able to do was make a really cool design where you could automate it so that the key bidding can change with a click of a button by changing the numbers. And what I'm going to do is share a quick clip of that key design video for you right now. Hey everyone, it's Lethal Logic X, and welcome back to a slightly different video. Now, I've hinted in a few places that I'm working on a new design for a 3D printable padlock. The design isn't quite finished yet, but I'll be doing a video on that soon. In the meantime, I thought it would be fun to make sort of a teaser video and also show you guys an interesting part of the project. Now, the problem at hand was trying to make keys for my locks. It's a very mundane and lengthy process, so I thought there had to be a better way. I found this program called OpenSCAD that allows me to make 3D models using code, rather than dragging and dropping and resizing shapes as I had been doing. This allows me to automate the process of generating keys. So this is what I have here so far. The key is currently set to all zero cuts, but by changing these numbers down here to anything from zero to three, you can set the cuts that you want. And you can use this to make whichever key you want. We hit preview over here and you can see it applies all of our cuts to the key and it even applies them to the back side of the key as well. Thank you so much for checking out Lethal Logic's really cool key design video. It is really amazing to see what computers and 3D printers are able to do. I just want to say that it was a really cool thing to do, and thank you so much, Lethal Logic, for making that really awesome video. So what I'd like to do next is segue into a quick clip of showing this 3D printed lock so you can see what it looks like and see it in action. What I'm going to do is share a clip of that for you right now. Hey everyone, it's Lethal Logic X, and welcome back to another video. So last time I was showing you guys my key generator to make a 3D printable padlock key. Today I am excited to announce that the padlock is finally finished, and this will be available for download on Thingiverse. I'm very happy with how this design turned out. It is very smooth in its operation. It doesn't bind or catch at all, it just works. This is a great design. I got the tolerances really tight on this one. Uh, so this is modeled off of a disk detainer lock, exactly how they are in the real world. So there's a, a limiter on this core here, so it can only move 90 degrees. And then there's a little sidebar down here, which is currently recessed. So all of these disks would be in a picked state right now, so all of their gates line up, which allows the sidebar to fall down. Alright, so normally that sidebar sticks out and prevents this from rotating, but once all those gates are set, it allows the sidebar to retract, and then this can turn. So anyway, like I said, the uh, STL files for all of these will be available on Thingiverse. You can go ahead and download them. Thank you so much for checking out this really cool 3D printed disk detainer lock in action. I am currently waiting on having one of these locks sent out to me. It is currently held up in the post office and I'm going to hopefully get it in soon. And once I get it in, I'm going to do a really cool showing of this lock so you can see it a little bit closer up. But the next thing that I'd like to share with you is going to be the assembly process. Lethal Logic made a really great video on how to put this together. She offered a lot of tips and tricks on how you can get these locks put together very successfully. And what I'm going to do is share with you her video on the process right now. Hey everyone, it's Lethal Logic X. Welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you how to assemble my 3D printable disk detainer padlock. As a word of caution to begin with, this model is incredibly difficult to print and incredibly difficult to assemble. The tolerances are very tight and you will need some extra tools to assemble it. You will need a pair of tweezers, you'll need a needle file, preferably in this square shape, and you will also need some calipers. The difficulty in printing comes from these discs, trying to get the correct size for them. You're trying to get them to be about 1.6 millimeters thick, give or take about a twentieth of a millimeter. 
and then the spacers as well you're trying to get them to be about 0.5 millimeters give or take a 20th again once you have those discs sized in correctly you can assemble your core this is the tedious part that you will need your tweezers for you need to carefully drop all of the discs in the correct order into the little core piece here and drop a spacer in between each of them. It is a very tedious job to put this core together and you need to put all of the discs in order matching whatever key you have. I'm not going to do this on camera because it takes forever so I have another core ready here. Once you have all of your discs in place you can check with your key and make sure all of the discs line up when you turn your key. This probably won't be the case initially, which again is why you need the needle file. You're going to want to file the, the corners of all of these cuts and kind of take some material away from just the corners. Leave all of the faces alone, but some of the corners end up just a little bit too big, which snag on the discs. After that, you should eventually get all of the gates lined up when you turn the key, and you can put the cap on the back of the core. There is a little cutout in this core, which indexes with the sidebar. And once the sidebar is in place, you'll note that the actuator cap no longer turns. Uh, now we can get the ball bearings in place. So these require a little bit of assembly. The ball bearings and shackle come in two halves, and you'll have to glue them together. In my case, I'm using ABS plastic, and I welded them together using acetone, which makes a really nice finish. So you can drop your ball bearings down into there. Make sure one of them goes in each direction. And you can insert the shackle as well. Insert the sidebar into your core. And it requires a bit of wiggling, but you can get that core into there. You should also note that your core operates properly and it opens correctly. Once it does, you can remove the shackle, put the top cover on, and relock it. And that's it. That is how you build the 3D printable disc detainer padlock. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to have a good one. Thank you so much for checking out the really cool assembly video on this really great project. I just want to say that this is a really interesting lock. It is really cool to see that she was able to design and make this lock and also make it available for download. So if anyone has ever tried to put this lock together or has any interest in it, I'd be really interested to see in the comment section below all of your experiences and any thoughts you have on this. I just want to say thank you to Lethal Logic for sharing this project with me and also sending me one of your printed out versions of this lock so I can share it with the community as well. I just want to say it was really fun being able to share this lock on my channel. I want to say thank you to Lethal Logic for allowing me to be able to share this with the community. But as always, I recommend that you go over to her channel, which I will link on the top here so you can check them out and consider subscribing. I would like to see the majority of the traffic go to her. She's the one that put this all together. I just want to say that I am happy to share it with you, but I really want to see her channel get some more attention, pop up higher in the search algorithm, and just be a really great channel within our community. I want to say that I am so happy to share this with you, and I just want to say this is a really cool project. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.